If you have bipolar disorder and want to become pregnant, the key to an optimal outcome is to plan carefully, and preferably before conception. Planning gives a woman the best chance to make informed, collaborative decisions regarding her medications, emphasizes Marlene Freeman, MD, a researcher and staff psychiatrist at the Massachusetts General Hospital Center for Women's Mental Health in Boston. In fact, drive. Freeman suggests it's wise for any woman of reproductive age who has bipolar disorder to keep pregnancy in mind from the beginning of her treatment even if she has no plans to have children for quite a while. This is because with some planning it's possible to adjust medications and closely monitor any developments for an optimal outcome. For instance, within each of the most widely prescribed bipolar medication categories, including antidepressants, mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, and anti-anxiety drugs, there are a number of options and some can be more attractive than others if a future pregnancy is being considered. Unplanned pregnancies, however, occur relatively frequently in all women, including those with bipolar disorder. According to Freeman, when a woman with bipolar disorder suddenly learns that she is pregnant, a common reaction is to abruptly stop taking bipolar medications for fear that the developing fetus will be harmed. But suddenly stopping a medication is not a good idea. It's been demonstrated repeatedly in bipolar research that the more abruptly you stop taking medication, the more likely a bipolar relapse is to occur, while gradual withdrawal might be better to increase the chances of maintaining wellness, says Freeman. In fact, according to a recent study in the American Journal of Psychiatry, stopping mood-stabilizing medications during pregnancy more than doubles the risk of relapse. An expectant mother's untreated bipolar disorder can also have a negative effect on her baby's health. With these facts in mind, if you have bipolar disorder and discover you are pregnant, it's important to speak to your psychiatrist, doctor, and any other members of your healthcare team before you make any changes in your medication schedule. Bipolar medications during pregnancy, what are the risks? Some drugs used to treat bipolar disorder can indeed have an effect on a developing fetus. Lithium, one of the most established medications for bipolar disorder, is one example, as Freeman notes. Older research suggested that the babies of mothers who took lithium during pregnancy had a significant risk of cardiovascular malformations. More recent research shows that risk is less than we thought, yet many practitioners continue to believe that it's worse than it is. In the case of another common medication for bipolar treatment, the mood stabilizer valproic acid, psychiatrists know that its use is clearly associated with neural tube defects in fetuses. Unfortunately, the defects can occur quite early, before a woman even knows she's pregnant, Freeman says. Other mood stabilizers, such as Lamotrigine, Lamictal, may be a safer alternative for use during pregnancy, although more studies are needed. The bottom line, medication changes for a pregnant bipolar woman may or may not be required, and the necessity of treating the disorder needs to be balanced with concerns about the safety of the growing baby. If the decision is made to continue medication, special prenatal tests, including fetal echocardiograms and level 2 sonograms, can be performed during pregnancy to rule out any problems with the developing baby's heart. Non-drug treatments such as electroconvulsive therapy can also be considered if the mother experiences a severe depressive cycle. After delivery, decisions also need to be made about continuing treatment if the mother chooses to breastfeed, since some drugs used to treat bipolar disorder can be passed through breast milk to the nursing baby. Bipolar and pregnant, finding help Sometimes a psychiatrist with relevant experience can work with a woman's regular physicians to help untangle the complicated issues involved in managing pregnancy and bipolar disorder. Try to consult with a psychiatrist very experienced with issues related to pregnancy and breastfeeding, Freeman advises. Unfortunately, she adds, most psychiatrists are not very experienced with the issues surrounding pregnancy in women with mental illnesses like bipolar disorder, you may want to contact a university-affiliated program that specializes in women's mental health issues. One example is the Women's Mental Health Program at Emory University, which focuses on treating emotional disorders, including bipolar disorder, during pregnancy and postpartum, the period following birth. In short, each pregnant woman with bipolar disorder presents a unique set factors that need to be considered, including her overall mental and physical health, her individual medication regimen, and the age of the fetus when the pregnancy was confirmed, establishing how long it's been exposed to those medications. But, Freeman says, with a collaborative approach and planning ahead, a woman can maximize her chance of staying well during pregnancy in the postpartum.